Hello friends, my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the some of the atomic classes uh, which is introduced in the Java 8. So here is the Google, let's try to search Java 8 concurrency improvement improvements and here we got the Oracle website. This is the very first link. Click over here and this will navigate to the Oracle website and here they have listed all concurrency improvement in Java 8. Um, here I am talking about the Java classes in java.util.concurrent.atomic package. So there are four classes have been added in this uh, Java 8 and they have given some description about those classes saying that maintaining a single count sum etc that is updated by the possible many threads is a common scalability problem right so if you have a one if you are if your multiple threads is working on the same counter and uh, trying to calculate i mean some of the various numbers uh, and uh, in that problem uh, in JDK previous version there was some scalability problem so this kind of problem is going to resolve by these four classes this release introduced scalable updatable variable support through a small set of new classes and these are the four classes first class is the double accumulator then double adder uh, long accumulator and long adder which internally employ contention reduction techniques that provide huge throughput improvements as compared to the atomic variables when you compare with the previous atomic classes which belongs to the uh, previous version of java 8 like uh, atomic long atomic integer atomic boolean so these are the classes ha has been more huge throughput improvements so that's the thing they pointed out here this is made possible by relaxing atomicity guarantees in a way that that is acceptable in most application right so first uh, first we have a class is called double accumulator one or more variables that together maintains a running double value updated through a supplier function when you look into the jdk then we have a uh, when we talk about the double accumulator so let's press ctrl shift t and try to search double accumulator right so this is a class you can see this is has been added in jdk 1.8 so if you look into the constructor then this constructor basically accept double binary operator right and something is called identity right so here creates an instance using the given accumulator function and identity element so if you look into this class double binary operator this is a functional interface and this functional interface is having only one method apply as double which takes two parameters left is the first parameter right is the second parameter and you can perform some kind of logic in these two parameter and these two parameter must be double so you can add these two parameter multiply divide or you can do some various operations right and finally this method is going to return you the double itself and finally you will get the accumulator result by calling a method is called accumulate so this will return you this will accumulate all values and finally those values if we want to calculate uh, in terms of integer or float or long or double so by calling these methods you can get the final value right and this class is thread safe so multiple you can share instance of this class with multiple uh, threads right now second class we have a double adder so saying that one or more variables that together maintain an initial zero double sum so if you want to implement some kind of counter right so and that counter must initialize with the zero so for that you can uh, use a double adder and of course this is also a double adder is also a, uh, a thread safe class right so you can instead of this thread the instance of this class you can share among the multiple threads right so and uh, you can see the there are a lot of methods inside this class like add methods will support you to add i mean multiple values like 
and this class saying that double so you can supply the multiple double values and finally this will give you the sum of all values and this sum is going to calculate by the uh, multiple threads right and finally you will get uh, those sum by calling the method like float if you want to get the sum in the terms of float then float value then int if you want to get an integer then int value we have a similar similarly we have a long value and double value right and if you look into the again next class is the long accumulator so saying that one more variables that together maintains a running long value updated using the supp supplied function so this is very much similar to the double itself but this will work for the long data type and and double accumulator works for the double data type that's the difference now long adder so here this is very much this class is very much similar to the double adder itself but this class has been designed for the long data type so in next video tutorial i'm going to show you some practical exposure about these four classes so please be with me over there and thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial